So hopefully you managed to come up with a program that looks a bit like this. Here you can see I've used a single digital write command to turn on that middle LED, the display a one, for one second. And then I'm sure you noticed you have to turn that LED off again before you move on and display the next number. So for displaying a two, it simply was digital right on pin 11. That turned on the top right and bottom left LEDs. To display a three, we're actually going diagonally in the opposite direction. So we've turned on the top left and bottom right LEDs and the middle LED. So pin nine turns on top left, bottom right. Pin 12 turns on the middle. To display a four, it's top left, bottom right from pin nine and top right, bottom left with pin 11. To display a five, it's exactly the same as a four, but we add in that middle LED. And to display a six, it's top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. And we've added in pin 10, which is the two middle LEDs on the top row and bottom row. What we're gonna do now though, is we're going to try and turn this into a custom procedure. So I want to be able to display any number from one to six. And so I'm going to take all of this code out of here and I'm gonna replace it with a call to display number. And I'm gonna give it an integer. So we're gonna start by displaying the number one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my own procedure called display number. It takes an integer, we'll call it n like we did before. And inside display number, for the moment, I'm just gonna paste back in my code that turned on each of the things in turn. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna change the code slightly so that before it tries to display any number, it turns off all of the LEDs to make sure that we are starting from a clean board with no LEDs switched on. Then all I'm going to need to do for each of the individual numbers is turn on the LEDs required for that number. So let's start off with a simple for loop that runs from nine up to 12, adding one each time. And all we're going to do in that for loop is turn off that LED. Like so. Now, my displayer one simply becomes that line of code. My displayer two simply becomes that line of code. My displayer three becomes those two lines. My displayer four becomes those two lines. My displayer five still is three lines because there's three different output pins that we need to control. And my displayer six is also three. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to need to have some sort of conditional statement so that I only display a one if the number that I was given as integer n is a one. And I only display a two if the number in n is a two. And I only display a three if the number in n is a three and so on. To do this, we're going to use the if statement that we learned about when we did digital inputs. And I'm going to say if n equals equals one. Now, this statement here, n equals equals one, is a conditional test. This double equals, unlike the single equals, which was a sign, this double equals is test if equal to test if equal to. So this is saying if n is tested to be equal to one. In other words, if n is equal to one. So if n is equal to one, I want to do something. Well, what I want to do is I want to display a one. So I'm gonna put 
that in there. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for all of the other numbers, except that instead of just saying if again, this time I'm going to say else if n equals equals 2. Because I only want it to consider this if statement if it hasn't found that n is already equal to 1. This simply saves time when the program is actually executing. Because if n equals 1, it won't bother doing this test. But if n wasn't equal to 1, then it will go on and do this conditional test. And obviously, if n equals equals 2, I want to display a 2. If n equals 3, I want to display a 3. If n equals 4, display a 4. And if n equals 5, display a 5. So if you finish all of that off, you should end up with something like this. So what I've got now is I've got a custom procedure called display number that takes an integer n. And if n is a 1, it will display a 1. If n is a 2, it will display a 2, a 3, a 3, and so on. So it will display whatever score between 1 and 6 it receives. It will display that number on the LEDs. This is clearly going to be very useful when we try to write our large and complicated program. And what it actually means is that our display, the numbers 1 to 6, simply becomes a call to display 1, followed by a delay, followed by display number two, delay, display number three, delay, display number four, delay, display number five, delay, and display number six, delay. This makes my loop section much easier to understand. And if I just format it, you can see it displays one, two, three, four, five, six, and then goes back around again. My loop is much clearer and my display number procedure that I've written can be used in many different places in my big and complex program when I come to it.